one last heart and then we're done with Lornar's Pass. Holy shit, I, I didn't think this would go as smoothly and as quickly as it did, but yeah. Not enough energy. Thank you so much for watching people by the way, who've stuck with me this far. I really do enjoy making these videos and, but I mean obviously if no one was watching, <laughs> then I would feel a bit silly, but some of you are, uh, it seems, and it just makes all the difference. Oh, I thought there was an entrance there. Never mind. Alright, let's check this place out. Some Covington pirates. So let's do this properly this time. Where's the heart vendor first? Hello there, the Yuda. Whoo, can you help Quaggan against the pirates? They're always hassling Quaggans. How can I help you? Show those dumb pirates that they're not invincible. Destroy their turrets and flags. Maybe beat up pirates and their leaders. That would really help Quaggan. Oh, and Quaggan could use any rum you find. <laughs> right, I'll see what I can do. So apparently some Quaggans are into rum, are they? Okay, I think my... Yeah, my knives are definitely stronger. I mean, this does look very similar to the one up north. <laughs> it's basically the same story, right? Quaggan trying to get the pirates to be less hostile by killing them, apparently. Alright, let's pick up some pirates rum. Pirate flag, let's destroy that. And I mean, this whole place just seemed like a jumping puzzle. Oh, there are grapes up there, I see. So, let's try and get up there, actually, now that we're here. Lots and lots of grapes all around. Huh. How do you make rum? I mean, I would assume they had wine in this place, but I have no idea how you make rum. Anyone know? If you know, then please do leave a comment. <laughs> ah, crap. Have I got any more sickles? I do. So I guess then the Quaggans can get drunk. I mean, that's an interesting thought. And a veteran. Let's do this. Let's try not to jump out while we do it, though. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, never mind. You're not worth killing. Well, then don't, please. And we are out of combat, lovely. So I've gathered some rum, maybe uh, it'll be enough to satisfy the Yoda. Got some rum for you. Thank you, as much as Quaggan hates the pirates, they do have good rum. <laughs> okay, just a couple more then. Okay, this pirate should do it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 15 out of 15. Boom, let's read this. Kuluku thanks you. Kuluku Quaggans are grateful for your help against the pirates and for all the rum you brought back. Koo. Those pirates sure know how to brew a good one. Rumless and leaderless, those nasty pirates have not bothered Quaggans lately. Brave, subtle nose Quaggan thanks you. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful. Thank you for helping Quaggan against the pirates. Oh, and if you have an extra rum, Quaggan would like happy to take it off your hands. Well, what do you have for sale? We can actually buy some, uh, some rum. It smells like rum and body odor. Ugh. Okay, let's do that. Oh, some uh, aqua breathers. Quaggan made you a breather for helping Quaggan. Perfect. And a spear as well. That's much better than the one we got. Quaggan like this pointy stick makes Quaggan scary like a pirate. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for that. And now, before my computer runs out of space, let's quickly run up uh, and discover this last place. To complete our exploration of Lonar's Pass. Ah, oh, this has been so much fun. I'm sort of suffering from fatigue a bit though because I'm really hungry and I've been playing for like, was it three hours now? <laughs> something like that. Um, but still, is there a cave here or something? Oh, maybe there's something like underneath the water that I have to explore. So let's have a look. Or oh, this may be actually one of those times when. You have to bust out the old Wikipedia. No, look at this. Yeah, I knew it. This looks like an old dwarven entrance, right? But there's nothing here. Oh, come on, surely. <laughs> this does look like an entrance to something. Damn it, really? Was there nothing here? That is strange and frustrating. Alright, unless there's an entrance down here, I'm gonna have to check it on the wiki, hang on. Okay, so the entrance to the jumping puzzle is underwater. So, hang on, let's just go here. It was over there, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're all the way back here now. Oopsie, subtle nose the nimble. 
Ouch. Almost died. So apparently it should be around here somewhere. So I was in the right place. Oh, that's really cool, by the way. Like a little pirate hideout with a uh, some stolen drawings here. <laughs> oh, not drawings. Paintings. It's pretty nice. Was that worth almost dying for? Maybe not. Okay. Um. So the entrance should be yeah, it should be here. Maybe did I did I miss something obvious here? Oh, there's another little hole here. Hang on. Hey, hey, hey! Look at this. Woohoo! We made it. This is really, really cool. Sort of underneath everything now. And if I'm not mistaken, this will lead us to a jumping puzzle. Griffin Rook Run, which is the very last unexplored area here in Lornos Pass. It is a marvelous place. Although, it does take a while to finish. <laughs> At least it does take a while if you don't know what you're doing, which I clearly don't. Teleportation stone, here we go, use. And we have Adventurer Thrada here. The griffins here protect a rare treasure at the far end of their rookery. But you'll need a bomb to free it from the chest. Give me a bomb and I'll get there. Be careful, this bomb is unstable. The smallest scratch could detonate it. To avoid combat and move quickly, the fuse only lasts three minutes. Uh, on second thought. So we won't try this, to be honest. But this is the last area. This is really, really nice. If you get to the very end up there, you get a very nice view over the lake and you get a grand chest. So what you'll have to do, you'll grab the bomb from her and then you'll jump down, trying to avoid uh, getting killed on your way. And you'll jump across over here and then up down there and then back and then all the way up to all the way over there somewhere from where you can see a beautiful vista from uh, in over Lornas Pass. Anyway, I thought there was going to be like a, uh, a point of interest, but apparently not. So then, where is the last point of interest here in Nonos Pass? It's all the way up here, what the hell? Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I thought that, surely that was going to be the last place. But anyway, now that I've shown you where the jumping puzzle is now as well. Um, <laughs> that's a good thing, right? Oh, I remember. We talked about doing this place, didn't we? Like the very, very last place, Scholar Alil Rodez. No, 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 that's not the one. Sorry, this one. Uh, this one. For Akenis Dremus. Dremus. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you looking for out here? Yes, that looks like just what I needed. May I have it? Do you remember this guy? Uh, the one looking for a, like a, a strangely formed object, metal object sort of thing. Now apparently we've got it. Uh, I don't know what object it is, but now ah, there it is. Gear Grank. We've picked it up from somewhere, and we can give it to him. Sure, here we go. It seems to be from the right period, the right materials, similar style. This may be it. Only one way to be sure. Stand back, and we'll give it a whirl. Get it? Crank. <laughs> whirl. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right then. Okay, here we go. So this obviously being the huge uh, old dwarven place. And now he puts the yank thing in there, and it starts this, which melts the ice. Balls are melting. It's working. The Deldramore certainly knew how to make impressive prison. Wait, what's that thing behind the ice? Something was still in there. <gasps> oh my god! Ancient creature! What the hell? So the Deldramore dwarves, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, long, long time ago. Oh my god! Imprisoned this douchebag down there. Oh, is this a champion? I think it is. I think this is a champion, people. We may very well not be able to do this. Nah, I don't think we'll be able to do this. Whew! Anyway, to be honest, not, not much would happen if we were able to uh, to kill it. Maybe this guy will help us, actually. Frozen links. Come and help me, please. Never mind Rodez. We might be able to finish off this epic saga of Lorna's Pass. Yes! Here we go. Group event. Force the ancient creature back into its prison. That's what we're doing, apparently. Are we two thieves? I think we are, yeah. Two thieves fighting for glory. Just a little further. It's almost in place. Oh, so we have to, like, force it in again. So this was apparently not a very good idea at all, releasing this creature. Which is fair enough. Okay, Basilisk Venom again. Let's stun the shit out of it. 
And this is also so cool that it's a flesh uh, reaver, which was summoned in a ritual in Guild Wars 1. I've talked about flesh reavers before. But maybe there were more flesh reavers than the one we summoned in the ritual, because this guy was imprisoned by the Delgamo Dwarf, which was like a really, really long time ago. Okay, one. I'm, I'm the tank now, am I? That's fine. Got it. Almost got it. Is it heading back? The Dracon steals. This is it. This is it. This is the place. Dracon steals. I've no idea what that means. I mean, I guess it's for these two dragons there. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't you die. Don't you dare bloody die on me. Oh, up you go. Up you go. Ah, oh, this is way too intense. Ah. Okay, let's seek the heart. Seek the bloody heart of the thing. Swap to pistol. Unload. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Yay! Ah. Oh. Require my full concentration. I'll need you to guard me. Be careful though. Is there anything no else here? This monster may have up its sleeves. Metaphorically speaking, I mean, clearly it doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> oh, let's just get started. Yes, let's just get started. Stop seeing creatures. No, defend Arcanist Dremors from hostile creatures. Okay. So this is the next one. Oh, they're coming from all the way down there. Oh, it's summoning other flesh readers, is it? The douchebag. So now, Dreamus, the very, like, extremely powerful scholar over there, is performing the ritual for us to seal this tomb again. So cool. Alright, so he's performing the ritual, and if he doesn't succeed within six minutes, uh, it fails. Oh, I see. I mean, I wonder what happens if it fails. Does he get killed? I mean, I assume the whole thing just collapses anyway, but let's not break the immersion, shall we? <laughs> it's a good thing you needed this for map completion. Almost done. Good. Because I would have probably forgotten about this. And I did say I was going to do it, right? So it's only fair. Woohoo! What a ride of fascinating magic and architecture. It even utilizes natural forces to great effect. I know that was rather harrowing, but if you find another crank, I'd love to collect some more data. Really? Do you want to do the same thing all over again? Jesus. Hello, your travels have been going well, I hope. Yes, thank you. How about you? Studying these eligible structures? Yeah. Okay, we've we done that already. So little. And that's it, people! Oh my god. Yay! That's it! That's Lorna's part! That's done! So let's just quickly read what we got. Exploration of Lornar's Pass. Salutations from the Tyrian Explorer Society. Word of your exploits continues to spread far and wide. No matter where you travel, you embrace you embrace those around you and help them in their times of need. Lornar's Pass has long been a challenge for travelers and adventurers alike, but you overcame all its unique trials with ease. But as you forays into the unfamiliar expand, be aware that the danger will likely increase as well. It has been said that the most enduring legends are built upon foundations of danger. Keep up the good work, Tyrian Explorer Society. Hell yeah. Get some nice rewards as well. Long us pass map completion. Oh, nice. Shiver Peak stuff. And a chest key and some cotton. And a level. Like, could this be any, any more perfect? Level 39. Uh, power position, power position, Melandra Lissa, or Grant, let's do Grant. Okay, there we go. Now I am so tired. I'm going on for so long. But there we go, that's Lornar's Pass. That's all done. We've done some amazing Order of Whispers stuff. Next time, we will do Ascalon Catacombs. And by doing Ascalon Catacombs, we'll definitely reach level 40. And you know what happens at level 40. Obviously, we're doing the next story instance. And then we'll actually meet all of Destiny's Edge. <laughs> um, and yes, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been so much fun. I can't wait to do Ascalon Catacombs soon enough. But until then, both me and Subtle Notes. Oh my god, my caps lock. Anyway, that's fine. Say goodbye. And until next time, have a bloody good time. Bye.